Hello, I'm Tom Merritt, editor from CNET.com, and welcome to Road Warrior, where we take a look at the hottest gadgets for life on the go. Coming up, smartphones, GPS, sometimes both at once. But first, a little wireless action, all right? The Arco 604 is back again, but this time it's got Wi-Fi. So what does that get you? Throwing the Wi-Fi in here really expands this thing, and uh, it's a pretty easy system to use once you get to learn it, especially because of the touchscreen. Now we have CNET.com uh, showing on the screen. You can zoom in, magnify, do all sorts of things. Really, I think the battery life is going to be an issue. 14 hours for audio, 4 hours for video. Another thing that'll drain the battery? The Arco 604 can also act as a file server. Pretty cool, though. Next up, yet another smartphone, the HP iPack HW6900. Now, it sets itself apart by adding an integrated GPS receiver. So you can actually uh, use this as a GPS device and get d driving directions and pinpoint your location as you're driving around. It also, in addition to GPS, it has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi radios, so you can use it to surf the web and connect to headsets and Bluetooth printers and things like that. Bonnie warns it's a little awkward to use as a phone, but it's got great features for the Road Warrior. She also got to look at the new Trio 680. It's cheaper than other Trios, but how does it look? In terms of design, it's a little more sleek. Here's the 700P. You can see they got rid of the external antenna, which is nice, so it won't catch on anything. And it's just slightly thinner. It's also lighter and feels good in the hands. It has this nice touch screen here, which is an advantage it has over the Motorola Q and Samsung Blackjack. The keyboard is a little cramped, though, so we prefer the Qs over that. It's available for singular, but Palm will also offer unlocked versions as well, but no Wi-Fi. Oh, but we're not done with you yet, Bonnie Cha. We need a simple GPS mapping device for beginners. Bring on the Navman F20. All maps are preloaded on an SD card, so you don't have to deal with any transfers from your PC to the device, which is nice. I really like the interface. It's simple and easy to understand. All of the icons are clear, and it's clearly marked as well. Bonnie said it worked fine in a road test, too. Her only complaint? The volume of the voice directions was a little low. That's it for this edition of Road Warrior. I'm Tom Merritt. Check back next time for more gadgets to keep you armed and dangerously productive.